This was a picture of me on Christmas 2014. I was sitting in a chair in a hotel room overdosing. Shortly after that picture was taken, they realized they weren't, couldn't wake me up and they, they called 911. And that was one of my first trips to the hospital for an overdose. I've been in recovery now for almost four and a half years. I was a IV drug user. I was a, a heroin user. I was also used meth and crack cocaine. I ended up going to a rehab center in uh, October of 2016. I went through the detox and it being my first visit to a real treatment center, I had the idea that somehow I was cured after that detox. Uh, I met a guy who was in there also who told me that he could get a prescription of medication. We left together within a matter of hours, we were high. And when I woke up that next morning, he was gone. And so were all the drugs. And I, I, I broke down. I remember just bawling my eyes out, picking up the phone. And the only place I could think about calling was the treatment center that I had just left. Everyone had pretty much given up on me and come to terms with me dying. I, I imagined that they would tell me that, uh, no, Daniel, you don't get to come back. You don't deserve it. You were given a shot and you blew it. But when I picked up the phone and dialed the number, this woman answered. And I expected her to tell me that, that I wasn't allowed back. But instead, she said a few simple words that, that changed my life. Baby, it's going to be okay. I have a beautiful three-year-old girl that would not be here today if I wasn't saved by Narcan. This is my daughter, Harley. Man, she's the light of my life. And to think that she would never have been born if I had never been narcan if, if I had never been told those words, baby, it's gonna be okay. If nobody had ever showed me compassion. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Makes me feel grateful to have been given another chance. Umpteen chances. Narcan's important for the simple fact that it's a life-saving tool. It's what they call harm reduction. Just as compassion is. You're giving this person another chance at life. And sometimes looking at that individual and seeing where they are, you can't help but, but feel judgmental. But we have to look outside of that box, right? Because you're not just looking at an addict, you're looking at someone's child. You're looking at somebody's, a, a, a child's mother, a child's father. And I'll tell you what, they will do anything to get that person to, to come home. Why don't we hand out EpiPens? Why don't we hand out inhalers? I wish we did. Maybe we will one day. Change starts with change. Changing your perception on one can then in turn help others change their perception on the other. One of the things that, that everybody thinks is if somebody knows how to get drugs, they know how to get help. And that isn't the case. A lot of people, before they know it, they're lost in the madness of, of, of substance use. But that doesn't mean that they know how to get out. We'll continue to lose our loved ones until we come together and we come to an agreement and we know that Narcan is not an enabling tool, it is to give this person another chance. And if it is not to give this person another chance, let's give their family one. Because I promise that they will thank you. If we can, if we, if we, if we give them Narcan, in turn we're showing them that their life matters. That is compassion. If this patient is sick and we give them buprenorphine, it is not enabling. It is we are we are we are reducing the harm that could be caused to them out in these streets, the additional trauma that they experience. We're giving them a chance. Again, we are giving this family a chance. We will give them another chance. I believe in them as others believed in me. The woman that told me, she when she said, baby, it's gonna be okay, she changed my life forever. 
and she probably doesn't even know it. But I do. My family does. And my daughter does. And that's what's most important. We have to remember that addiction is a disease and that this patient lost the choice a long time ago. So let's do what we can to give them that choice back. You know, let's remind them that there are people out here who love them and care for them and that their life does matter. If it doesn't matter to them, it matters to me. Somebody cares. Somebody loves this person. How addiction begins is not our choice, but we can do something about how it ends.